What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to Terminator Resistance. We are moving on to the next chapter now. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. And if you are, be sure to slap that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's jump in to this next one. I'm guessing the Baron. Baron messed us up. Consequences. Where is everyone? Huh? <gasps> Ryan. What the fuck just happened here? Commander! Rivers, you're alive. What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not gonna disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot, and for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave, now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them, and then find Connor, and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! Good luck, Jacob. It's a fucking massacre up here, bro. Shit. Where did she say the vent was? Over there. Plasma minigun. Do I have that? RSB 80. Oh, that's RSB 90. Alright, well, hold on. Let's drop this one then. Okay, let's upgrade it. 
Hold up. What do we got? This one we can use if we want. I'll leave it. Let's just do this. Fire rate. Clip. Stability. Damage is only 100, but look at the fire rate. It's even bigger. That's awesome. Hold up, let's see what we got. Oh, a skill book. Dude, awesome. Those are all done. Survival, I can do backpack. I'm gonna do crafting. Only three more. Are you fucking serious? Shit, we out. Don't worry, don't forget about us. As I just point blank him. Too weak. These weapons are bay. I could have stuck with her and saved her, honestly. That's a big boy. Oh shit, H it. Oh, waste. That sucked. Wait, oh, I saw I got turned around. There you go. Oh, you can see where it goes. Dead end. Man, they all died. I guess it's part of the story. They can't really, uh, like, you know, ties into the films. Four hours. It's only been four fucking hours since Teams Alpha and Bravo left. We can only sit in front of our radios and wait for news. I asked the scouts coming in and out, but they all say everything's been quiet. There's nothing else left to do but wait, and it's killing me. I don't ever remember the shelter being so quiet. And now that I mentioned how great it, quiet it is, the dogs started howling like something bit their ass off. Great. You had time to write that? And all this stuff. Sticky bombs, all sorts of shit. It's so powerful. I love this gun. Front lines, all right. It's time. Let's do this. The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. It's 
Time for the unknown. Anyone receiving me? This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? Have we been here before? Never. If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Is anyone else out there? God damn it. It's just a ghost town here. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Oh, wow, John Connor is upstairs right now. This is big. Sergeant. At ease, boys. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps' coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. N not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon, Skynet will realize that they're losing this war, so they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. How did you know that the Central Core wasn't at the Observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the Observatory. They had to move the Central Core, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. But if there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination. One of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back. So I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them. And the one I chose was you. You are the one you call stranger. What? 
That is us. Literally us. I didn't even think of that. The stranger is us. That's insane. Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. No fate. Well, that's a twist. Then we better get ready. Makes so much sense, though, honestly. Don't forget, we actually have a crafting table. Oh my goodness, it's like Christmas. Need, what do we have? Plasma rifle. B25A. Oh my, okay, hold on. Plasma minigun, I already got that one. What's the 25? Oh, it's just more of a sniper. Do I really want that though? What's the damage like? I love how you can just stack these rail plasmas, VGO1s. I don't need two of these rockets, so I'm gonna drop that. Why not take a rail plasma? Plasma TC30V. This one's kind of rubbish, isn't it? It's like straight up sniper. So it's like a human weapon, but it's not upgradable, I don't think. Oh, hang on. Let's just get all the ammo we need. They're, they were holding out on us, bro. What can we craft? Basically everything now, except for the last two. I don't even know if this is worth it anymore. These Terminator knives are kind of redundant. All of it is kind of redundant now. Honestly. Laser guarded RL-43. Well, we, you know what, man? Let's get rid of some of the ammo we don't actually have. I don't know why I have it. Small caliber. It's just taking up space. Alright, we can fit one major... No, wait, we can't. Seven pipe bombs. I'm not going to use these. Let's see. Alright, I'll take... Do I want the laser guided? Okay. Let's do this. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Commander. Commander. All right, John. Deuces, man. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. This is it, man. This is the big the battle. Way. I see it. Whoa, hello. Yeah, that was crap. I don't want the small one. I wanted the big one. Hold on one second. Put that in there so we don't waste any more.
Damn, that 850 got annihilated. The regular 800s die in seconds, bro. This is this this weapon is so beast. My damage recovery. My XP is the max. Oh, you can't go any higher than level 28? So you do have to pick and choose. So crafting five and backpack. That seems kind of dumb, don't you think? This is one I can use. Nope. They, they literally make it so you can only have two. So that must mean... No, no. You know what that means? You can't get 100%. However, hold on. Watch the flanks, drones. There's more of them. You need 100%, but you need to find skill books. So there's probably two more skill books out there. What do we got in here? These can be upgraded. No. Wait, let me let me upgrade this. Hold on, let me see. Do we have any more? No, we don't. Commander, the first sector is secured. All right, Rivers. Continue the offensive. We're preparing to send in the tank. Awesome, dude. That thing is gonna be a beast. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47. We got ourselves a T-47. Back it up. I'm stuck on something. I don't know what. Nothing. That was some bullshit. Wait till it opens its gaskets. Ooh, that plasma container just was perfectly placed. Oh, I missed out on the the money shot there, guys. Open your gasket, bro. I gotta heal up. He's almost done. Goodbye. Hell yeah. Shame we can't get any more upgrades. Push forward. Oh, man, can you imagine how many stats we'd be getting? Why not just make it a level 30 overall? Why a 28? I couldn't even see him. Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. Ariel, down it! Whoa! Good shot, bro. I've shot that thing before. It hasn't gone down in one hit. T-47 ahead! Another Two one? Two of them! Two of them. Sergeant, oh, great. I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. Oh, God. Look at... Reload, reload. Dude, it's so good. Once you get that... The, once you get the critical down... On. See how fast we killed it? The small burst really sent it. Because it's more precise. I was probably missing slightly. Stuck on something. Commander, the defense grid is active. We can't go through. No way, no how. HK tank is on its way. Hold your position. Nice, dude. Let's Aerial. blow this bitch. Yes, dude. Pull back. Pull back. So shooting the engines was where I was supposed to go.
What do you got for me? The defense grid is smashed! Yes! River, we breached the defense grid, Commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Check your fire! That tank is ours! That's our boy! Oh my god, watch out. It's bitching out, let's go. Oh my god. Ah, I'm a little far. It would have been way better, more deadly if I was closer. It's okay. It's down. This tank is beasting. I forgot that was behind me. Push forward. Yes, sir. Let's go. River, I just received intel from the 124. They've located the central core. It was at the coordinates you gave. They'll strike soon. Continue with the offensive. Come on, man. What do I have? Hold on. Inventory. I want this rail gun. And the rocket slot. And I can't upgrade it. Um, damage. Sorry, guys. Square on the right. No, square on the left. Trip on the right. There you go. Let's give it a go. Holy. How's that still alive? This thing is insane too though, man. I'm too close. Back up. I think he's just looking around. That's one thing. The AI is kind of dumb. You guys move forward? Let's go, boys. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, this is a pretty epic final assault, I have to say. This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing. Oh, we have a tank, bro. Spread a out. tank. A tank. There's a bunch of these. Damn it. It's down. I repeat, PDE just went online. Rivers, there's no stopping now. I was hoping to flank it. Silverfish, take 
Hold up. We gotta swap one out. One sec. Another one! We're almost there! It actually is working! Just keep shooting in the head! Quick! Rockets! They're heading this way! Oh my god! Terminators are out there. Ah! Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? Do it. How could you say no to that? I'll do it. Let us begin, then. That is so cool. So we're the third protector. What if you said no? Just fail. <laughs> John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. 
a resistance soldier named Kvak, to 1984. His, ob 84. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. Aaron died in that shelter. She believed that her work was helping win the war, and she was right. I hope now she can finally rest. Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man, with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. Wow. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty crazy how the story ties in. And I also realized that by helping out Aaron and Ryan, that actually caused them to, you know, to die. If I had told Aaron to go to Mexico and hadn't told her her, her husband was dead, she'd probably still be alive. That's insane. And same thing with Ryan. If I let him get kicked out, I would have... Uh, you know he would he would have been he would have been out of the resistance shelter and probably survived as well. So really, the best ending isn't always. I mean, I'd say I got the best ending overall. Uh, you know, with how things. If I if I didn't give him get the chip or anything, we probably wouldn't have that tank to help us. If we did, I guarantee you, if, like if we didn't steal it, we'd have to fight all those guys by ourselves. That's probably what happened there. I think it ends probably the same way. Um, but. You know, it makes sense. I wonder what would happen if we said no. If I could do it all over again, I'd probably change a couple things. The only thing I'd change is obviously go to Mexico. Your husband's there. You know, she would, you know, we would, she would know I've lied to her, but at least she'd be safe, right? And then I'd also get Ryan kicked out of the shelter. That's what I'd do just because he can't do it. You know, like he would have died anyway. So it's, it's funny. Everything seems like you're doing all the side missions and you're doing things correctly, but sometimes you're not. And I had the right amount of, like, I guess it's just the way things go. And that's kind of what they're trying to say is start a new game and make changes, make choices. But the whole game isn't really worth replaying over just to get a few of those things. So it is what it is. Um, I feel like I did the best stuff overall, though. I'd say I, I did all the side missions I could. I literally did everything except for one, which is a choice one, where one fails and the other one doesn't. It's just the way it works. So... Either way, I'm very happy with how I played the game, and I'm also very happy with the game. It wasn't special, like super insanely unique uh, in terms of gameplay, but I actually really enjoyed playing it. I honestly think uh, some of the reviews it's getting are a little bit lower than I would I would do, but it's still honestly a game that I'd say is worth your time. This I've put a lot of hours into this game, and it's it's a it's a it's a below average price 
on it. And, and it really ties in the first two films really well, I think. It gives you kind of what happened during the war, and like what happened when John sent this person, that person. It leads up to the events of Terminator 1 and 2, and it tells you what went down in the, I guess, future. So I think it's really cool, and I really enjoyed my time with this game. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for my Let's Play of Terminator Resistance. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8000. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% of your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's dialed Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us. and don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never ever a game.